Hi, and welcome to another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist. I am your host, Dennis Richkovsky. Some of you recognize me as the co-owner of Flip Flops Donuts, and some of you know me as your broker of real estate who specializes in waterfront and waterview properties along the Crystal Coast, especially on Bogue Banks and in my town of Emerald Isle, North Carolina. On this channel, you will find essential information from the inside scoops on buying and selling houses to how to live with the ocean rivers and sounds that define the Crystal Coast. Today's episode is all about my passion for down east North Carolina. Whether you visit here occasionally or live here full time, knowing about the history and recreational opportunities down east has to offer is a story worth telling. Before I begin, please subscribe to my video channel now or at the end of this episode. Down East refers to the rural waterfront communities east of Beaufort that begin at the North River Bridge. This is a lovely time of year to spend a few days to enjoy a slower pace of life as well as breathtaking scenery. Traditionally, vacationers and tourists alike do not flock to the Outer Banks in November, but everything changed after COVID-19. People have discovered that the Crystal Coast and Down East are enjoyable year round. So you should be able to secure reasonable accommodations from quaint bedded breakfasts to historic beachfront homes and from cozy cottages by the sea to camping on pristine beaches. Some sites to contact are Cape Lookout Cabin and Camp Ferry Service, Cedar Creek Campgrounds and Marina, Cedar Island Resort, Davis B&B, and Islands Choice RV. And if you set up your base camp in either Beaufort or Moorhead City, many features of Down East are simply a day's trip away. Access to Down East is by boat or by car. The portion of US 70 that runs through Down East is designated as a North Carolina scenic byway. And by car beyond the lookout for the area's salt marshes, which are perfect for bird watching. An ideal wildlife experience can be found 40 miles from Beaufort and about five miles west of the Atlantic Ocean on a peninsula, marking the southern end of the Pamlico Sound. Here you'll find the Cedar Island National Wildlife Refuge. This refuge is made up of 14,900 acres and is mostly covered by brackish marsh. The Highway 12 Causeway, which travels across the marsh, is a great place to view various wildlife. The refuge system offers a wide variety of quality light tackle fishing opportunities and portions of the Cedar Island Refuge are open to waterfowl hunting in accordance with applicable state and federal regulations. Now you don't have to go all the way to Cedar Island to experience Down East. The Core Sound Waterfowl Museum and Heritage Center, located on Harker's Island, about a half hour drive from Beaufort, celebrates Down East's cultural history through the living traditions of decoy carving, boat building, and commercial fishing. Finding your way to the proverbial end of the road is part of the experience. Enjoy the drive along marshes and creeks, across bridges and through communities as you slow down and experience the community pride that is Down East. Core sound events, all led by community volunteers, are the kind of people experiences that cause folks to return over and over. You'll discover hands-on demonstrations of decoy carving and quilting, relaxing outdoor experiences and educational field trips. Everyone who visits will leave with a better understanding of this heritage. Waterfowl weekend begins on December 4th. Tailgating will begin at 9 a.m. on Saturday with carvers, collectors, artists, photographers, and crafters here to help you with your Christmas shopping. The museum store will be open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or so with crab pot trees and a new collection of Christmas collectibles. The online auction will close at 7 p.m. and special exhibits will focus on the oyster season, past and present. 
The Cape Lookout National Seashore Headquarters is the jumping off point to experience a 56 mile strand of silken beaches that make up the coastal islands of Shackleford and Core Banks. One of the few remaining natural barrier island chains in the world, accessible only by boat. Here you can experience complete solitude and an opportunity to discover endangered animals in their natural habitats. You can also explore the beaches to find a multitude of large unbroken conch shells. On the beaches and in between the sand dunes, you may encounter families and shore fishermen camping with tents pitched and fishing, hiking, and delving into all that mother nature has to offer. History comes alive at the Cape Lookout Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters, built in the mid 1800s to warn passing ships of the dangerous coastal waters. Standing at 163 feet tall, the 207 step Diamond Lady Lighthouse was painted with a distinctive black and white diamond pattern in order to distinguish direction, north and south from east and west and to differentiate it from the other North Carolina lighthouses. You can climb this Crystal Coast to must-see during the summer between May and September. The northern ac access point to North Carolina's Crystal Coast, Cedar Island, is the home to the Cedar Island Ferry. Experienced Outer Bank travelers attest that the Cedar Island Ferry Ride is a relaxing two and a quarter hour cruise across the Pamlico Sound to Ocracoke. Travelers at either terminal will be able to get a distant look at both Ocracoke Village as well as Cedar Island. But for the most part of the trip, the only scenery is open water and the occasional passing trawler or shrimping boat. Despite the supposed lack of scenery, Many vacationers find the trip simply enthralling. With crabs and small fish visible just under the water's surface on a clear day, and cormorants, pelicans, and plenty of seagulls flocking around the boat virtually any time of the year. The best time to travel, however, is in the evening around sunset, as the ferries offer an otherworldly view of the sun dipping into the Pamlico Sound. A little secret. Behind the visitor center of the Cedar Island Ferry Terminal and on either side of the ferry traffic lanes, you will find a small handful of rustic trails that lead out to the Pamlico Sound. This stretch of mainland shoreline has remarkably wide beaches and large, almost ocean-like waves in addition to a small handful of shells and ghost crabs that patrol the beaches. For visitors who have a few extra minutes to spare, a quick walk along the Cedar Island beaches is well worth the time, as it gives vacationers a chance to admire the Pamlico Sound from an entirely new perspective. And when you wanna learn more about what is happening in Emerald Isle or anywhere else along the Crystal Coast, Subscribe to my newsletter by texting your email address to 919-308-2292 or sign up for my blog on my website, www.eihomesforsale.com and subscribe to Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist on YouTube at the end of this video. Stay well and stay safe. So come on down, please subscribe to my channel below and definitely return next week to the same bat channel at the same bat time of 9 a.m. on Thursday for another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist.